Good morning, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here, my name is Clara, and if you hear some clanging, that's because I'm in the middle of an organization project, which is what you're gonna help me with today. This is gonna be a couple days of my life in Charleston. Main goal for the next couple days is organize the pantry, which is what this, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's all this stuff on my kitchen table where you're sitting. It looks beautiful and clean behind me. Can't say the same about what's behind the camera. So that's what we're gonna tackle in today's video. I'm gonna do some improvements on the guest room as well because I have a ton of guests. I basically have guests for the next week and a half straight because I'm going to Breckenridge, Colorado on like my annual friend's ski trip. I leave on Sunday and I'm gone through Friday. So I'm gonna have my friend slash pet sitter stay here for those six days. And then the four days following that, one of my good friends, Francesca, who went to Scotland with me if you watch the Scotland vlogs. She's gonna come down with her boyfriend and visit the Friday through I think like Monday or Tuesday. So basically my guest room is gonna get tons of traffic. So I ordered some new stuff for my guest room, just like a spare set of sheets, a tiny little end table that can go on the side of the bed that's a little bit too small for like the pair of them. I'll explain all this later. So that's what we're getting into in this video. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe right now and go follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you wanna see more short form, like links to products that I show, pictures, outfit inspo, all that's over there. But subscribe if you wanna stay around for more like FaceTime chatty home vlogs. And I think I'm gonna film the Breckenridge trip. I filmed it last year and it was really fun to look back on. So I think there's going to be a little ski trip vlog coming up too. Just changed out of my pajamas because if I didn't do it soon, then it probably wasn't going to happen. I put on jeans and I just kept on the crew neck that I threw on this morning. Gray crew neck is from Amazon and then these are my new favorite jeans. Let me try and show you these a little bit better. I got these when I was in New York. I'm going to link them in the description box. But the true test is the fact that I've worn these six or seven times without washing and drying them. And they're definitely looser than they were when I first put them on. Like honestly, now it looks like I could have gone down a size, but I couldn't have because I know how they fit when they're like freshly washed and everything. But the true test is being able to wear jeans like multiple times without the fit getting like absolutely atrocious because I have some jeans that even after like five hours of wearing them I need to put them in the dryer again because they're just like stretched out and like weird in certain spots but really like these here's a little bit of a better look I like them with sneakers a lot haven't really tried to dress them up I think they're definitely more like daytime casual jeans but I really like them at Tropical Smoothie to try their new chia bowl and acai bowl to see if it's something that I want to work with them on a campaign on TikTok. So I came to try it myself before we got any further in the discussions. We can taste test it together. The acai bowls are frozen. Like they keep them frozen. I was like reading reviews about them and stuff. So people said to let this sit for like a minute or two to let it thaw out a little bit more. This is the oatmeal chia pudding one. Looks pretty good and the fruit is fresh. Like it's not frozen fruit. Oh wow. You could add peanut butter drizzle. I probably should have added peanut butter drizzle. I'm also in a plaza with Home Goods TJ Maxx and Ulta, which maybe I'll go in. This is insanely good. Oh my gosh. You can't even really see it. You could easily serve this to me and I think it was for the $20 little hole in the wall juice bowl place maybe i need to try making oat milk chia pudding at home i can't get the lid back on now go figure i'm gonna take this home and eat it later let's try the acai one while it's still cold again with the toppings yeah these are fire we'll see what happens you might see a tiktok of me promoting these you might not they might not pick me for the campaign but holy heck these are good I ordered a ton of stuff on Amazon for this little organization project and I only remember what like 60% of it is. I needed all of it, at least I think I did, but let's figure out what's in these boxes. Well, the first thing is unrelated. It's just some more laundry detergent. <laughs> That's good because I have a ton of laundry that I need to get done today. Let's see, I got the scent milk. This is the detergent that I've been using lately, the dead cool detergent. Can't remember if this is one I've tried. Yeah, I think I've tried this one. 
I need to try a new one, but I'm losing track of the ones that I've used. I've got a soda can organizer that's gonna go in the pantry. Paper towels. A spare sheet set for my guest room for my guests coming. And some pillowcases. What are you? Oh, a new comforter insert. I do remember getting this. This is so random. A peel and stick wallpaper kit. That's for an unrelated project. What are you? Oh, this is another wire rack to go in the pantry, which you'll see soon. Last but not least, I have a curtain rod for the guest room and some curtains for the guest room. I'm excited. The guest room's gonna look good. Now, drum roll, please. This is the pantry that we're gonna attempt to organize. It's literally just this room under the stairs that they've called a pantry, or I guess they made the pantry. They as in like the owners of this house I'm just renting. I would totally do like a ton of cool built-in shelves. I would run power in here. I would have like a coffee bar, but not gonna do all that because I'm renting. So this is what we're working with. It's just one singular black iron shelf thing that I swear people like put these in their garages, which is why I got another one to put right here just for a little bit more storage. But as you can see, there's like really no rhyme or reason. This is just a dumping ground and it's causing me to like double purchase ingredients like I just bought white vinegar but then I found out that there was white vinegar in here already so just little things like that that I'm spending more money on food than I need to because I can't even see the food that I have and the ingredients that I have so this is a main priority of mine I think my first step in tackling the pantry is going to be building the storage that I just bought on Amazon so that shelf thing and, and then the can storage thing I have Love is Blind on right now, so hopefully I don't give you any like accidental spoilers in the background, but I've heard that this new season is really good. I actually just found a TV show that I really like, but of course I finished like all the episodes that are available. It was called Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It's on Amazon Prime Video. I know I was talking about how much I didn't like Saltburn, so here's an alternative recommendation. Not at all similar whatsoever. It's a show, not a movie, but if you want something new to watch and you need something new to binge, then start Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I know it's a movie that has been turned into a show, like this is like a new um, version of it, I guess, but it has Donald Glover in it, which is Childish Gambino, and like he produces it. I feel like I've liked any movie or show that he's been involved in, he's just really talented. So there's my updated show recommendation for you, but I'm just gonna build all this stuff while I watch some Love is Blind, and then I'll have some place to like organize what's in there, because the issue isn't purging. Like, I feel like a lot of the times when I organize a closet like that, the issue is I need to get rid of stuff, but I'm like not gonna get rid of any of that, so I just need new places to put it. So stupid. just finished building this tower it took me like two full episodes of love is blind and i built the little soda carrier holder things too this is all my poppy and i found a secret stash of the cranberry fizz poppy from their holiday release um i had found a couple boxes at whole foods near me so i bought them and i thought that i'd finished them all but i didn't they were tucked away in here so clean out your pantries you might find some cranberry poppy anyways this is the rack it's not as tall as i thought it was going to be but I think it'll give like a good little bit of additional storage. This is just giving a major like doomsday prepper, extreme couponer stockpile energy, these shelves are. But it's the best that I've got and I just don't wanna spend too much money like building out a pantry that's not mine, you know? I'm gonna try and organize some of this and I think the shelf is gonna slide over here where I have that box right now. And voila, what would you know? That little shelf thing made all the difference. It just purged all of like expired foods and things that weren't sealed properly maybe like crackers that got stale and everything like that so this is all that I'm left with I say all that I'm left with like it's not a lot this is a ton I look like a doomsday prepper in and of itself like look at all these drinks this actually looks like I'm an extreme couponer but I just wound up on like drink companies PR list and I'm not upset about it because I will drink like five of these a day until they're all gone this is like only like a month or two of supply for me and I get like a bunch of oil PR too like olive oil avocado oils these are all my oils and like cooking stuff like these are coconut oil and 
whiskey and jarred oils. I don't know what else to call that. Polly is loving the fact that she can come in here now because before she couldn't even find her way. Speaking of Polly, there are two Polly things in here, which is like kind of gross. I wouldn't really mix them with the pantry if I had anywhere else to put them, but I keep her carrier right here, and then this is her bedding stuff. This is her litter, I guess I should call it. So that stays in here, but I will like drag this out now that I can and refill her litter box like this. So it's not all by the food, but it's just like little pine pellet things that I use for her. So it's nothing too gross. I purged some of my cup collection. I got rid of probably like five or six. I could get rid of more, but I don't want to regret it. I'm just going to do it in little batches. And then this little three drawer organizer is from my last apartment. I'm pretty sure this is from Amazon. It's definitely from Amazon because it looks cheap. I have some of these from the container store and they just look 10 times better. So if you're gonna get something like this, go to the container store, don't go to Amazon because this one looks like it's about to fall over. All that to say, it's holding all of my like hosting supplies. I have some candlesticks, placemats, some platters and trays. How cool is this fish that I just thrifted the other day? So excited to break that out. That's one that I will be keeping. And then I have some baking dishes and these are some cloth napkins. So that's the pantry situation. I'm very proud of it. I think I'm gonna put some hooks right here maybe to hold tote bags and stuff so I can be better about using reusable bags at the grocery store. But other than that, I'm considering this project done for the evening. Closing the door on that, literally, and I'm gonna deal with this aftermath tomorrow. Another day, another gray sweatshirt. This one is from TJ Maxx. It says Maxinista on it. No, your eyes do not deceive you. It's one of my prized possessions. Back to work on my organizing project. I'm gonna break down all of these boxes and maybe I'll take them to the recycling center. I'll see how drained I am after breaking them down. I did a little work on my computer today, so I'm up to speed on those responsibilities. So now I can focus on this. got everything broken down unfortunately i don't think that this is going to be all of the cardboard from my little organization guest room project so i might wait to bring this to the recycling center there were a couple of things that are not necessarily um expired yet they have like a couple more months but i know i'm not going to finish them in the next month or two got a lot of these like smart sweets caramels which i have to be in like a caramel mood for and i just don't think that i need multiple bags. I saved a few for myself. Same goes for the popcorn. I've already eaten like four bags of each of these flavors. I worked with Lesser Evil and they sent me like six or eight bags of every single flavor that I was promoting. So as much as I love them, I'm just not going to finish them all in their shelf life. So I'm going to go drive around on the golf cart and see if there's one of those little blessing boxes that I can leave these in. I suppose I could take it to a food bank, but I also just don't think this is the type of donation that like a food bank would really be able to maximize. I think this is more like a little treat that I can put in one of those community boxes. So let's go try and find one of those. The back of the golf cart flips down so that it kind of looks like the bed of a truck and I've always wanted to like run an errand and use it like this. So today's my day.
I have another delivery I could run and make right now to a friend. I've been making a donation pile by my door and I sent her a picture of a couple of things that I thought she would like, like coffee machine and stuff like that. And she does want them. So I'm gonna bring those over to her probably today. I just need to make sure now's a good time so they're not sitting outside for too long. She might not answer because she's working. Oh, sorry. I was gonna ask if now's a good time for me to bring the Nespresso and stuff if I sat it outside your door. Just dropped all that stuff off at Sarah's and then I dropped some stuff off at Goodwill too. So I'm making a lot of progress today. I was also nearby to an Ulta, so I grabbed a couple of restocks. I'll show you when I get back home. But it's 4.20, which means that I need to leave to go home now or else I'm gonna be stuck in like an hour of traffic. My very small Ulta haul. More of my favorite daytime toner, the nice and my brightening toner from Good Molecules. Wear by that stuff. And another favorite, I think this is like my third or fourth purchase of this, the Bondi Boost HG Dry Shampoo. Shampoo, so good. I'm editing and posting a little impromptu video that I filmed while I was out. I guess before the sun sets, I should get all this recycling into the garage. I just don't want to carry it down. Should I have another coffee? No, that's a bad idea. Half the time when I'm craving more caffeine or coffee, I think my body is just dehydrated and water would wake me up the same way. I'm trying to figure out what's next. You put on Instagram to see what I have to do for it. Just made dinner. It's this creamy coconut curry ramen. I'm so excited to try this. This is a new recipe and it's not defined dish for once. If it's good, I'll link it in the description. But I'm going to eat this and watch a little bit more Love is Blind. The thing about me and the reason why I never have any TV show recommendations is because especially with reality TV and dating shows like The Bachelor, Love is Blind, anything like this, I will watch the first couple episodes and just get so involved in like the initial, what is it, the limo night in The Bachelor where everyone comes out. That or like the pods of love is blind but now that they're out of the pods i kind of lost interest maybe i'll keep it on in the background you know while i like work on my computer and stuff tomorrow but i don't know i'm not really into it anymore i saw who people ended up with as far as i'm concerned the show is over at that point um i do have some thoughts but i don't want to ruin it i do think that what was it like the first season of love is blind where what was her name like jessica or something that crazy girl, oh, I feel bad saying that because like I know they're just like edited to look that way, but that was like the prime season and then they tried to replicate that and I don't know what number season this is, but I think this is the first season in a long time that people are like into it again. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's multiple seasons. Actually, you don't have to correct me. I could just Google it if I cared enough, but anyways, it's, it's the first good season in a while where I think they cast really interesting people that, you know, captivate you enough and you feel connected enough to them. I'm just putting away my clean dishes right now. If you wanted to see cooking content from dinner, I didn't film it for YouTube because I filmed it for Instagram and I try not to film too much like overlapping content. So if you want to see dinner, then you have to go to my Instagram. It's been so long since I've done a proper closing shift in the kitchen and it feels so good. I need to get back into this routine. Tomorrow's gonna be really busy, so I'm gonna sit down a little bit longer tonight, even though it's almost midnight and I wanna go to bed and I'm gonna plan out my day tomorrow. When I wake up, I'm actually filming something, so it'll be nice to have this out of the way. I did pretty much everything on my list today. Feeling good, feeling prepared. This is the one thing that I really hoped I was gonna be able to get to in this video, the little guest room project, but I just didn't have enough time. So this will also be part of tomorrow's to-do list. I will definitely film it. I don't know if it's gonna go on TikTok, Instagram, both, but it will be somewhere, maybe even shorts. Maybe this will be a YouTube short, cause it's gonna be fun. I'll show you kind of what I was thinking. I think I already showed the majority of this, but then I got this blue blanket today because my guest room is painted blue. 
it was not blue in the listing photos but when i moved in it was blue so we're leaning into it i wanted to paint it but i'm just gonna lean into the blue because i think buying a blue blanket is easier than painting and then repainting a room when i move out plus this one was on clearance so it was 32 dollars got this at home goods i think no that's tj maxx bare sheets from amazon a blanket from home goods let's see what else pillow from home goods also to try and play around and tie in the blue probably not both of them i'm gonna return whatever i don't use but i just wanted to get a bunch of stuff so i can like play with it in real time when i'm doing the makeover i got this basket to put extra blankets in so people aren't like having to dig for it in the middle of the night and then i got some contact paper what is this actually called peel and stick wallpaper and a kit because all the doors in this house are gray and I hate it. And well, like right now it's totally fine. But in the blue room, the fact that it's like blue and then all the trim is cream and then the doors are all gray and it's an attic room. So there's all these tinier doors, the little hobbit closet door looking things that go into the storage areas and they're gray and they're really contrasted against the blue paint. So instead of painting those, I'm gonna put some peel and stick wallpaper on them, which is so extreme. I know I'm moving in a couple of months. If you don't know, this was a short lease. I might have to beg them to extend it a little bit, but I am moving soon. So this is kind of ridiculous to do towards the end of my lease, but it's just a room that's been bugging me. I have so many guests coming. It's just a fun little project. It didn't cost much because I don't know. I just got like cheap little things to elevate what's already in there. I'm not, you know, redesigning it. Probably gonna look very similar to what it looks like now. Just I'm gonna feel better about it. I'm having a lot of guests come over the next couple of weeks, next couple of months, literally until I move. So I just want it to be a place that I have no improvements to be made upon. Like I got this little table that you were just sitting on because there's only one nightstand in there. So now there's gonna be two nightstands and if there's a couple staying in there, then someone can have somewhere to put their phone and they don't have to put it on the ground. Just like little things like that. The doors, I doubt anyone has given a second thought, but it's just something that sticks out to me whenever I go in there. So I wanted to fix it. So that's gonna be part of the project. Then I'm gonna hang some curtains, hang some art, um, swap out the bed. I'm not switching out the bedding. I'm just like improving on the bedding. I'm gonna add a new duvet cover in there Try some throw pillows out and stuff. So nothing extreme But I'm hoping it's gonna make me feel like a little bit more at peace with that room I just hate that it's blue. I really hate that it's blue one of these days I'll be adventurous with like wallpaper and patterns and paint colors, but I've been renting So I kind of like that everything's just like a big white box for me to put all my stuff in I don't know. It's not even like an adult blue It's a very baby blue too, which makes me think that the last people might have been using it as a nursery I don't know it's giving nursery energy and I want it to give beachy coastal guest room energy. And that is tomorrow's project. I'm already daydreaming about the everything shower I'm gonna take after my hot workout class in the morning. It's not hot yoga, it's like a hot core. Like a, I guess it's like a matte Pilates type of thing. I've taken the class one other time. It's so hard. But I want to take it more often to the point where it becomes easy. Because it's like a little challenge with myself. Whenever I take a super hard class, I'm like, dang, I should start going more so that this gets easier. <laughs> sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't. Signing off here. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you liked it. Make sure to subscribe and go follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I'm so excited for my next video. It's going to be my Breckenridge vlog. My annual ski trip with friends. I vlogged it last year. Okay. If doing it, last year was the first year, so this is the second. I don't know if I can truly call it annual yet, but it's going to be annual, and I'm so excited. I've been looking forward to it for months, so I can't wait for this vlog to go live because I'm going to watch it back myself so I can relive it. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see the Colorado content or if you just want to see more Charleston stuff because there will be plenty. I upload once a week, so make sure you're subscribed. Follow me everywhere else, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.